volunteer at the fair. This is Jack. He's another volunteer, a driver's Tyler. Uh, I know a few of you are coming back, but a lot of you are new, so let me give you a couple of things right about the fair right off the bat. Um, there are uh, 125 juried artists, juried, people that make their living this way, or a substantial part of their income this way. They have to go through a jury process and be selected. Uh, there are about 30 new artists, so if you are coming back from the previous years, there'll be lots new here for you to see. Uh, if you're coming here for the first time and you like it and you want to get it again, you're, you're thinking, oh, well, I've done that, I'm not going to go back again. Every single year, we have about 30 new artists, so uh, there's always something fresh. There's also something new on the menu. We have uh, our standard hamburgers, and we've got vegan chili that's made on the site from scratch, uh, and a couple other really tasty things. But the new sandwich this year is a portobello mushroom, grilled portobello mushroom with onions on a ciabatta roll with aioli dressing and arugula that's served on the side so you can pile as much on there as you want. So uh, if that is, uh, sounds good to you, why don't forget about that. That's a brand new item this year. Kings Mountain Art Fair has been here for 55 years. 5-5, five, five, this is number 5-5. Five, five. And the uh, all the proceeds, it's all run by volunteers, all of it. And we only hire uh, three outside uh, organizations that I can think of, one of them to drive these monster uh, buses and a couple of cleaning crews. Other than that, everything is volunteer. That means we get a uh, larger percentage of the profits from this uh, uh, operation than we would otherwise. And so where do those profits go that we get? They support two major organizations up here on the mountain. One is the fire brigade. All the permanent buildings that you see on the fairgrounds. Plus, when you get off the trolley, there'll be the fire engines lined up, the yellow fire engines right there where you're getting off. All of that, all the turnouts, all the expenses of a fire department paid for in very large part by the art fair. And then we also are able every year to give a nice generous contribution to our local elementary school so they can hire additional staff for enrichment purposes of various kinds. So uh, there are a couple uh, much smaller organizations up here that get a little tiny bit, but those are the major organizations that are the beneficiaries of this art fair. So thank you very much. We try and make it so that it's interesting enough for you that you don't need to care about what I just said. Okay? But I think it's also kind of nice to know that when you come to a place like this and you do spend your money, there's a, a second and very, very nice reason why uh, it exists as well. Uh, let me check here. Yeah, I've got time to tell you uh, one or two things. A little tiny bit of history. Uh, if we had been driving along this road back in the late 1800s, maybe the very early 1900s, and we looked out our vehicle either side of the road, you wouldn't see a tree. Not one. Okay, now, it, that might be a slight exaggeration because there might be an old snag here or there or something like that. But there is a picture from the old Redwood City Tribune of the Kings Mountain area showing just what I said with one twisted old trunk that was so twisted they couldn't make lumber out of it so they just left it standing there. It's still there. It's up, up uh, further north and off to the eastern side and it's back in amongst the trees. You can't see it anymore. So that's a nice piece of history about this place. And yeah, I've got time to give you one other piece of uh, interesting history. Back in the 20s and the very early 30s, the first three or four years of the 30s, this was um, a major industry up here was bootlegging. Bootlegging during Prohibition. Uh, there were two speakeasies up here and we just passed one of them actually. Yeah, we just passed one, the Mountain House Restaurant was one of the speakeasies, and where you got on was the other speakeasy. There were two of them up here. We're almost there, so let me uh, finish up by saying have a great visit uh, and enjoy uh, all the different uh, beautiful art uh, uh, all over the whole grounds. 
go down and buy some of that delicious food. I think you'll find, if you haven't ever tried it before, I think you'll find it's really nice. Much better than sort of standard fair food. And uh, don't forget that when you leave, you're going northbound. So you will board on the fair side of the road, the opposite side of the road from what we're on right now, okay? Thanks for coming. When you do leave, and we will be very shortly here, when you do leave, there is a genuine fireman's boot hanging from the uh, handrail up here in the front as you're going down the stairs to leave the vehicle. You put a tip in there and our driver will ring the cable car bell. There is no other place that I know of where you, yourself, can ring the cable car bell all on your own and all for you. It all goes to the charity, so uh, it goes to all that those uh, different organizations that I just mentioned. Thanks for coming. Have a great visit. Come back next year.